Welcome back to another video of Resident Evil 2 Original. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you are new. And let's get into the game. Some pistol ammo here, no matter if I do. We're on our way to meet Ben. I don't know his surname, unfortunately. Which means I kind of have to read the document, to be honest. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. That's the info that Ada was actually there for. Uh, she doesn't care about John at all. She cares about how she can get to the sewer from the police station area. Because she knows that's where the entrance is. Uh, do I take the blue plant? That's where the entrance is for the G-Virus. We'll combine these. If you guys are wondering who was screaming there in the background, that was William Birkin. Oh, there is dogs here. Goodness, dude. There's a red plant here also. I'll take the red plant, we'll mix it with the green and blue one. Don't know if that was worth it, to be honest. Take unnecessary damage like that. So you stay against this wall. And then this one might attack you, or not, it really depends, if you're lucky or not. Right now, um, this is where the butt plug zone is. Or the chest pieces. So we're gonna take both chest pieces over here. I'm gonna go put them where they belong. And then there will be a bus spawning here once we have all the pieces. And since we only have two, that no bus will spawn.
and we're limping, which is not good, obviously. Ada, wait. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Push it. <laughs> okay. Now over here, there's gonna be zombies. We're in the same place where Sherry was, where I died with the dogs, if you guys remember. Oh, there's dogs still here. So you run the wrong way first. Because there's gonna be something here, like shotgun shells or even magnum ammo. With shotgun shells. Ada does not use a shotgun, she's a female, you know? She's a real female. A sexy one. And you better say yes, she is, because oh my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> you know it. Come on, say it. Easy doggy. Then we have to go this way again, like we did with Sherry, uh, but this time, we have to get down. This time it's with Ada, so... Push them boxes. Of doom. Just by the way, in real time, I'm about to uh, start looking for Silent Hill 2. If I can get the game. And I think I only finished it once before. With Silent Hill 1, I finished three times. This game, countless of times, man. I finished it so many times, I can't even... I can't even. That's how I know where everything is, and stuff like that. <laughs> Roughly about five years ago, I did, um... Big damage here. I did, uh... Resident Evil Marathons, where I played Resident Evil 0 all the way to Resident Evil 4 and finished all games in 12 hours. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast, here's one more. <laughs> Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Ada, wait. I think that's what the part will be called. Okay, let's um do some inventory stuff, I think. We need to get that shotgun. And we need to get the shotgun shells. Where are we going now? Something like this. Is this good enough? Do we have enough inventory space though? We might need one inventory space, but I think I think this key will get broken. I 
I feel like also putting away the heals, but it's very important that I keep heal on me. So let me do this. So we can stop limping. And we'll take that. I think we'll just go as is. Let's do this. Stay against the uh, this wall. Otherwise, you'll get poisoned. And yeah, these spiders have a very high chance of spo poisoning you. So, okay, dodge the one. We're nice. We dodged both. <laughs> I don't know how we did it, but it worked somehow. Okay, very, very hard part coming up. There's probably two liquors uh, coming soon. I think it's two liquors. I don't think it's three. Okay, I can only keep five shells. That's one dead. Two dead. It was the last bullet as well. It's perfect. Now I go in here. We're gonna open open up this thing again. So to open it like I showed you guys before is that you need to press up, up, down, down, up. That's what I did before. And it should be the same password. Power is okay. Now the power is switched on. I'm gonna run back. I think uh, we'll also get extra bag space with Leon, which is great. We use the key. And this part really sucks. But we gotta do it. Okay, no damage, bro. Perfect. <laughs> Now we come over here to the very first door, and we use the key card. And we enter the room of doom. Shotgun shells, maybe pistol ammo, maybe. Most probably we'll play uh, B. Um. Claire B and Leon B both with infinite ammo, so we might as well just take these. Take it in the side pack first because we won't have inventory space for the machine gun. We can pro most probably leave this for Claire. Now that's the Claire B run. Are we taking it? Righty then. So the very first room that's here also needs a key to unlock, which we just did. But inside here, look at the big granddaddy Magnum. Look at them apples. I don't think we get anything else here. Nothing in this locker. Oh, there's... Whoa, okay. We're getting shotgun shells. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that, dude. That's, that's really good.
Now, I don't know how good this machine gun is. Or bad. No idea. But I think if, you, if we're gonna test it, it should maybe be a Beyond Zombies thing. Which makes this the perfect test subject. That zombie on the floor will grab you if you run on the right side of the table. Well, on the left side of the table. Let's test out the gun. How bad is this gun? But it has a lot of ammo, dude. Execution shot, Leon. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This gun makes noise more than do damage. That's that's how it seems like. <laughs> Okay, so we, we need inventory space right now for where we're going. So I'm just going to come to the box here right here. And uh, we'll put away machine gun. Right? No, we'll keep the machine gun, dude. We'll put away the shotgun. Because I took the shotgun for this reason. Let's test out the machine gun versus liquor, dude. Pretty sure it's gonna go bad. <laughs> I'm just saying. It does no stagger damage. Or just stagger. It, it's it's mostly just um it's, it's just raw damage it seems. So I don't know if it breaks animations of zombies or liquors. We'll see. Is that that's what makes a shotgun great. You break animation. Good. There we go. Grab my leg, bro. I'll step on it. On your head. Let's do a normal reload. Yo, it's like we're playing Resident Evil 2 Remake, dude. The over the shoulder look. Oh, he's dead? Whoa, he's dead, dude. Okay, destroy the key, because we don't need it anymore. Don't mind if I do. We'll grab the first aid spray. And then we we'll grab the butt plug. Of doom. And no, we're not going to test it with that liquor. We'll test it with this one, in this room. This room or the other one? Let's go in the other one first. Discard that key also. So technically we have no more keys left. Yo, there's no liquor here. We come over here and we use the lighter. Metal. Right. Left. Job's done. Ready to work. Okay. And there should be a liquor over here. I don't know if I want to do this. Because we might only get like, uh, I don't know, pistol ammo. There is something shiny on the table. I like something shiny. Yo, dude, it's pretty good on liquors, man. What is this? It's a small key. 
I'll take it. That was all that was in that room, right? Let me just go back and check. Sorry, the, I know it's a waste of time. I'm, I'm very bad sometimes. Uh, that's, yeah, it's literally all we get in this room. What the heck? By the way, I think if we click on the glass... Oh, it's the other side. It's in the B run. The B run, there's no liquor jumping through the wall, uh, through the window there. Until you click on the glass. It's, it's so weird that they have these hidden... Secrets in the game, right? It's it's pretty cool But yeah Open sesame Okay guys, this is where we're gonna end the episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did remember to leave a like subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Peace!